Ready. Okay, today is Monday, July 19 to July 6. Li Jian Lasa is over 10 years old. She's female, not, not her life. Now, the main, co main complaint is that uh, of the breast tumors, uh, memory tumors. And uh, it grows very fast. How, how fast is it grows? Uh, two months. Two months, uh, it, yeah. If it grows very fast, normally it's cancerous. Otherwise, it grows slowly. But this is not the only one. So there, there's another one on the other side, the left side. The MG1 and 2. This is MG4 and 5. And then, uh, wait, we turn up and down. Ready? Then we can see that the. So this is the left side. This MG4, uh, 1 and 2. MG memory gland 1 and 2. This in between. But in respect, surgery, we have to remove the whole thing. Like that. And then this side seems to be okay, so you don't spread to this side. That is the left. Now the, the left side, the memory gland 4 and 5. This is number 4 and number 5. Because normally they have 5, a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 4 and 5, there is a spread of the tumor nodules, huh? and it's a smaller ones. Smaller ones. So this is left uh, left side. So left side is uh, 1, 2 affected, 4, 5 affected. Then the right side. Right side, right side is uh, these two are okay, one, two, but three, four, three, four, five, three, four, five. The four will be somewhere around here. I was missing, but anyway, this will be considered three, three, four, four is somewhere here, maybe, but it's not, not obvious, five. So. This one will be removed separately uh, from from the, this side, this side, because you can't do everything because otherwise you're, there's a big hole and you cannot close up. So, so now my advice is to take X-ray and see whether it spread to the lungs or not, because it's likely to be cancerous due to fast growth uh, in the old dog, not sterilized. So this, this side we will X-ray the lungs, see any nodules. That means it has spread. If it has spread, then then there's no no uh, point in doing operation, or at least the woman knows what what, what she she had the option. Uh. Then uh, we will take the blood test to check the kidney and the liver as well to, to check whether there is a uh, uh, spread to the liver and kidney causing kidney and liver disorder. Okay, after that, after the blood test and the X-ray, mainly the chest and and the blood test. Then the next day, what I would suggest is to take out this big one first, take out this big one, and then uh, we will sterilize the means we go in and take out the ovaries, and those ovaries encourage the hormones from the ovaries encourage the growth of uh, breast tumors in, in female dogs. So we will take out this one, and then go inside and take out the ovaries. So, if, if possible, then maybe you have to, to remove this, but it will take too long and the dog may die from anesthetic due to the OH. Although the heart is okay. Now, we see here, this one the dog was on a heat oh, uh, one month, last month, right? Or two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, so it's swollen. And uh, so there might be pyometra infection in the womb as well. Other than that, the dog looks okay. The heart is okay and it's eating and drinking well. So this would be the plan. The X-ray of the chest for for for, for any property of spread, spread of the breast tumors. And then blood test to check for liver and kidney uh, disorder. That means possible that the the breast tumors might have gone the liver and kidney. Then after that, then uh, of course, we check the lymph nodes as well, but they are, they are enlarged. There are some mandibular is enlarged. It's enlarged. Base scapula is okay. Then I check the axillary. Axillary is okay. No enlargement. Then I check the inguinal. And then the popliteal. The lymph nodes. Popliteal is slightly enlarged. Popliteal lymph nodes. So, so it's, it's most likely that uh, the tumor has spread, and uh, so this is the situation. So, uh, in conclusion, 
always sterilize your female dog when she's young so that uh, they, they don't have the, the possibility of, of uh, getting breast tumors at the old age. And uh, of course, it's not guaranteed. They, they are, there are spit female dogs who develop breast tumors, but normally, I would say 90 over percent don't develop breast tumors if they're spit young. So that would be the advice. That now for this dog, the best is to check for uh, any spread to the lungs, liver or kidney, by x-ray or ultrasound, and then uh, blood test first, then later on then remove the ovaries and the big one first, big one, and then at, uh, another two or three weeks later then remove the small ones, the smaller ones, so that the, the dog doesn't die from too long uh, exposure to anesthetic. So this is uh, the plan. Okay, thanks.